Blessings, peace and love. Welcome to beautiful Gambia, West Africa. Sunland Music Studio, a great place to create some music. And today we're talking about creating world-class music with the iPhone X using FL Studio Mobile and GarageBand. One of the main keys and first steps to making great music is getting your own sounds inside the apps. Using your own sounds will give you more of a unique flavor. So you need to get your own kicks, your own snares, your own hi-hats, all of this stuff inside the phone. And that's gonna be step number one. So now we got all our personal sounds inside the iPhone. And we're ready to start making beats now. I prefer FL Studio for drums. To me, it gives a certain attack, a certain vibe, a certain swing. So let's start with some drum programming. Boom, ta, boom, boom, ta. 144 is an interesting number. Let's go with that. that, 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 that. Close this keyboard out by hitting this X on the right. And we hit the plus sign, and we're gonna open up a direct wave instrument. Now here are all those folders that I put. I'm gonna go to main drums. Kicks, snares, hi-hats, you name it. And we'll just pick up, you can, you can kind of preview the sounds by just t tapping on it. So here's a hi-hat note. If I make it smaller, then every time I add another note, it's the same size as the first note. By dragging this bar up, I'm able to adjust the velocity. So let's hit the X button. The first track is there, hi-hats. Let's add another track, direct wave. Scroll through our personal sounds. Listen to kick one. Kick two. Oh, I like that. Let's go with that. Program it in. Boom, cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. We need two bars. Let's duplicate this hi hat. Copy, paste. Time to add a snare. Direct wave. Pull up some personal sounds. I like that. Turn it down a bit. Let's put a clap now. That classic trap clap. Uh. Now all those hi-hats, it's a little bit too much. Let's reduce it. I think we're just gonna take out these middle hi-hats. Um, half one way, half the other way. I'm gonna cut this in half, copy this, paste it here, cut it in half. We got a unique basic hi-hat start uh. now we need those crazy hi-hat rolls we add another track yeah now 
I need to adjust the quantize by clicking the magnet button, holding it down, hit half step. Now I can get into those small spaces in between notes. Adjust the tuning. Now we're gonna adjust the tune of, of these first hi-hats just to see what happens. Not bad. Ticket. Ticket. Yeah. Let's turn the snare off. I quickly added an open hi-hat. Now we talking. Now we talking. We got a nice beat to start with. Let's add one more snare real quick. It's going to add that extra flavor. Yeah, copy, paste. Let's turn it down a bit. Blend it into the track. You feel me? Now that's a beat right there. It's a nice basic beat we can work with. We good. Now it's time to bounce this beat. We click save and click on wave. Hit send and then hit share. We're gonna send the track to the save to files folder. I send it to my iCloud drive, the music folder. Click add in the right corner. Boom, we're done. It's uh, easier to open in GarageBand now. So let's open up GarageBand so we can start making some music on top of that beat. There's a loop button on the top right that helps you bring in audio files straight into your GarageBand. So I'm browsing on the iCloud music folder. Going straight there to find the starter beat one. It comes back to this page, you click and hold down, and just drag it on over. It goes right into the session. Hit the loop button to extend it, and we're good to go. This session, I had already set it to 144 beats per minute, so it was ready to go. We're gonna reduce to four bar. Yeah, it's the plus button on the side that opens up the bar settings. We're good to go. Now we're going to open up the guitar and start with some guitar chords. We're in the key of E minor. GarageBand gives us these tools to quickly have relative chords. So it's easy to start making music fast. Now when you hold down the strings on the left hand side, you get this muted effect. And it's very cool. You can pluck note by note, string by string. See, check it out. Let me show you a little clearer. See, the thumb on the left is holding the strings down to mute them. So that's how you get that sound. So wow, this is going to be hot. Let's see. Um... Just hit record. 